Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Dome number 17, or the 17th episode of the Operation Dome series, where my friends and I are going to encase the entire world in glass and glass panes. So we've done a little bit of work here. It looks beautiful, and obviously you can tell that we are actually on the classic texture pack. Is it actually considered a texture pack at this point? Or just the original look? I don't even know. And the sun is setting and the moon's gonna be rising. It's gonna turn dark here. Whenever it gets too dark or too dangerous, then we're gonna have to go to bed. So I'm here with Skull Rider Tomi. Say hello. Hello. Let me double check to see if the preferences are on correctly so you'll be able to hear them. Yes, it is. Okay, so a lot of things have been happening right now. So bear with me and I'll apologize in future events if I start to, I don't know, be a little bit derpy because at this time of this recording uh, it's almost there it's almost there or I could, I could no I could actually count it because I didn't actually I really attempt to go to bed until 12 30 but uh, yeah I'll say that I've officially have been I, I've stayed up for a full 24 hours and it was not my choice I didn't I didn't want to force myself to stay up 24 hours I literally tried to go to bed at 12.30 and for literally six hours straight, I couldn't go to bed. I drank NyQuil and it didn't help me. I had that insomnia episode where I just couldn't go to bed. I couldn't stop thinking. I couldn't stop daydreaming. A lot of things were going on my head all at once and I couldn't go to bed. So... I've officially stayed up for 24 hours. The most I've actually stayed up was, uh, I would say, maybe uh, thinking how I, it's been so long. I actually did this when I was 12. I was an idiot. But uh, let me see. Thinking, I'm thinking. It's really hard to do when you can't even think. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to remember. I think it was 42 hours. No. No wait, that does seem that does seem right. Forty two hours. I think that's the longest I've actually stayed up when I was twelve. And again, I was an idiot. Like I wanted to see if I was able to do it. Then I passed out <laughs> right in the afternoon. Uh, I'm just happy I didn't actually have to explain that to my parents. I think I did tell them later on, and then my father said like, "Yeah, you're gonna ruin your sleeping schedule, and you're gonna you're gonna make yourself sick." And I've already dealt with that multiple times because I didn't get enough sleep. So it's important for you guys to get some sleep. Even though I can never follow my own rule due to the fact that uh, I stay up making videos such as this instant right now. Instance. Right now. Okay. Proper wording. <sighs> Just a lot that's going on right now. So this is how my day went when I stayed up for that 24 hours. Up until this point where I'm making the video, this is where the 24 hour mark is. So happy 24 hours, people. Okay, so with what's been going on, I tried to go to sleep. I really, oh wait. Okay, again, apologies in further advance where I'm not going to be, I'm probably not going to be doing so much work because I'm going to be too distracted because I got to stay focused on one thing and I can't stay focused on another thing because I'm too tired to even stay focused or even multitask. Okay. Uh, let me see. So, 12.30, I tried to go to bed. I was at the breaking point where the night quill, the, the, the night quill was kicking in. Like, I was about to actually pass out. But somehow, somehow, I didn't. At that very, very moment of passing out, I just couldn't. And then I was like, what the heck? And then, the, then I just started thinking I just couldn't stop thinking what I usually think about is possible scenarios that could take place and what would I do in that scenario like I don't know if we were to get robbed what would I do when we're gonna get robbed and then I think of a lot of possible ways and possible outcomes of it whether it be minor or where whether it be where I I come out the hero or 
whether or not if someone gets killed in the middle of it. I don't know. It's just one of these things or one of these episodes where I just cannot stop thinking of what possible situations and what possible outcomes that it may have. And I'm pretty sure I may not be the only one. I really hope I'm not the only one. But these episodes sometimes happen like once every two weeks or sometimes they even happen two every week. It's just, it's random. Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead and get the last last row so I don't forget. So it's really, really bad. It keeps me up all night. And it usually happens when I know that I had to do something. Like whether I have to w wake up to go to church or whether I have to go to work in the morning. And right now it is because I had to go to jury duty. I have been selected for to be in the grand jury. So I'm a juror now. Hooray. Lovely how that works. They randomly select a group of people. And then they do a little bit of interview. They ask you questions to to know whether or not if you are competent enough to actually be a juror. So it's like, have you been convic like convicted of a felony and have you have your civil rights restored? Or are you involved with anyone in law enforcement? Or have you been involved in any crimes or something like that? I, of course, I'm the golden child and not done anything with my life. <laughs> Sad to say, but hey, that's what is acceptable in this society because I got picked. Like, I was the second person to be picked. Good to know, right? Yay, uh, second place. So, of course, I got picked, and of course, I did not answer yes to any of the questions because none of them applied to me. But, hey, it's just whatever at this point. So, I am part of a division, as far as I know, that we make or i think it's i think that's a proper term i think that we actually make in in indictments or indictments i don't even know how to pronounce it right it's just pretty much the law officer presents the case of the person being charged and we decide as a group whether or not if it's justifiable and we pretty much justify the charge so the person actually gets charged with a crime and then from there, the judge tells us that, or pretty much makes a statement that it's going to be handled by another group of, uh, another division. So as far as I know, we're the division that actually pretty much says that if the law has been, com or the crime has been committed and they are being charged correctly or something like that. I don't know the full word. Is that, like I said, I've been up for 24 hours at this point. Like, I was all, I was up all night trying to actually go to sleep. I was tossing, I was turning, I was switching sides of the bed. It's just, it was terrible. I don't wish that upon anyone. It's just very, very terrible. The one thing that you want to do that you cannot do. It's just terrible. So, yeah. So, pretty much, this is how it's going to work now. That, let me see. I gotta pay attention to the recording because this is literally my fourth take. Like, all the other recordings, they somehow freeze up. I don't know why. It was just freezing up out of nowhere and I had to do a retake after retake after retake. <sighs> okay. I think everything's fine. I just gotta keep moving. That's the number one indicator that everything's good. So, with jury duty... The schedule for Tuesdays now. Hopefully my manager accepts my request. Because I have no choice in the matter. By law, I am there now. For four months. Once a week. For four months. So I'm not, not going to be gone. Or I'm not going to be off jury duty until May. By law. Once you're selected. So. Hooray. From 8 a.m. all the way to 5 p.m. Sometimes, sometimes there's less cases. Sometimes there's more cases. Sometimes you get through with it quickly. Sometimes you stay there longer. So, pretty much, at average, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay there till 5 anyways. And hopefully when my manager actually accepts my request to actually schedule me on Tuesdays 
for 6 p.m. all the way to closing so that I do not lose my days off. Because if I have a day off on Tuesday, all that's already gone. I do not want a day off when my whole day is pretty much gone. Well, cannot say that precisely, but really, this is how I see it. Like, I wake up 7 a.m., go through the whole thing till 5 p.m., and then I go home at around like 5.30 or so because I got to go eat. And then I just have 6 to maybe 12 or 2 a.m. because I'm going to try to get my sleeping schedule back together because I cannot deal with this every single time. So hopefully everything goes well in that department. So literally it's just if the, the whole thing is set in place, I already left them a note, I left them a letter that this is what's going to happen on Tuesdays. I'm literally going to have no more Tuesdays. That I wake up at 8, I get to the courthouse, stay there till 5. Hope if some days are good, then I don't mind because then I could just stay home for a bit. But even then, I go to work at 6, come back home by 11, then whatever's left is whatever's left. So that whole Tuesday is pretty much gone. Then I'll have a better chance of having the other days where I don't have to go to work and I don't have to go to jury duty. I could have that whole day dedicated to whatever I need to do. And usually I have that dedicated to actually making a let's play. And then throughout the rest of the day, we dedicate that to actually work on Operation Dome or Operation Bedrock. So it works really well in that schedule. I just don't want to lose those days. So, again, no more Tuesdays for me <laughs> for four months. And here's a good part, apparently. Oh, I hit the mic. We get paid... Whoa, okay. Ball bearing kind of fell over. Okay. We get paid $12 for the day. For the amount of time you spent in jury duty, you need you get paid $12. It's better than nothing. Honestly, it is. But if you have an actual job, I would think that people would rather go to their actual job where they actually get more money. I don't know. It's just different stances. I really... I really don't care at this point. It's just, I'll get through with it. Then I don't have to go through with it again. Hopefully for another time being. Just hopefully I don't get selected again. So, jury duty. Some people may find it fun. I find it, I find it considerably okay. I don't mind it at all. It's just that whole day was just terrible because due to the fact that I had to fight myself from falling asleep. Because it would have been really awkward to fall asleep right in front of a judge, right in front of a group of people. You wouldn't want to, you don't want to be that person. Just the humiliation by itself is just a just a thing that you want to avoid. Okay. Oh hey. Oh okay. That thing that thing didn't appear at all. Y'all saw it like that. See? Oh wait. I did. Did I take that? I don't even remember. I am confused. I am literally confused right now. Ugh. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Got to figure out where I'm at right now. Tell me, Gollum, could you get more sand, please? Yes, I will. <sighs> trying to remember what else I was going to say. I actually kept that up rather well. <laughs> okay. What else is new? What else is new? What else is new? Let's Plays. Let's talk about Let's Plays. I'm not, I'm never going to stop talking about Let's Plays because I'm, I'm having fun with the Let's Plays. Honestly, I am. I'm having almost the best time. Oh, that's where I put all the glass at. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, right? Okay, I'm really having fun with the Let's Plays. Honestly, it's just... I can be myself in the Let's Plays. Sometimes, I, I could actually... I could honestly say that I've done terrible on some episodes. Some episodes, I do really well. I literally... Every time when I actually make a video, I look back the whole 30 minutes of the video, or 30, 30 to 36 minutes, I watch the whole entire thing. 
so I know what to tell the episodes. And then I actually pretty much almost critiqued myself. I was like, did I do well on this one? What can I work on? What can I do to make it better? And things like that. So I want to make, I want to make a name for myself with the Let's Plays at least. Some people actually do enjoy the Let's Plays as it is, but I think I could actually make it better. Okay, I'm gonna save right now, so don't be alarmed. I'm gonna do the trial and error method if to see if I could actually get a good shovel here. I'm just looking for efficiency four and unbreaking three. Don't care for anything else. If I get so touched with that, that's just a bonus. Okay, so with the Let's Plays, I'm having a great time with Kyle. Kyle is having a great time as well. We're making jokes, we're having fun. That's what a Let's Play should be. Some people have different stances on Let's Plays. Due to the fact that like, when they see another person's or another person's Let's Play compared to another person's Let's Play, like player A, he does it to where he literally talks everything about the game, and then there was player B who literally talks everything but the game. Some people prefer player B's commentary over player A's. Because what else are you going to do with player A? Like, all he does is just talk about what's going on in the game. Like, it would be exactly like me saying, Oh, look at me. I'm just swinging my sword around. Hooray, I'm going to kill some zombies. Oh, okay. Oh, look, look. There's a pig right there. I'm going to go after that pig. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go after that pig, and I'm going to kill it, because I really need those pork chops to actually feed myself so I don't become hungry. Yeah, we see that. We know what you're doing. You don't have to literally explain step by step of what you're doing. Even though, I, of course, I am to blame for that with <laughs> the other episodes I do. I just tell people what I'm doing right now, how I'm going to do it, and this and this and this. But it's like literally every step, the whole entire video, the whole entire video is just literally having them just talk about what they're doing. That we actually see that and it's kind of a redundancy. So people would prefer Player B's commentary of where they talk about a lot of things but the game. Which I usually do, like exactly what I did with the jury duty thing. And then there's player C who talks about things that are in the game and as well as other various topics. I want to be, be player C at that point. But some people do very, very well with being player B, like Game Grumps. They make fun of the game at times, but. They pretty much talk about other things. But, oh my god, this is a terrible, terrible enchantment. I'm gonna rage quit, dude. I'm gonna rage quit. That's a terrible enchantment. Fortune 2 on a shovel. There's no point in having a fortune on a shovel. Why would you want to get so many flint? That's all it does. All it does is just get you flint. There's no other purpose for fortune as far as I know. Okay. Rant over. Um. Can you can you tell me what other good thing comes out of fortune? Because I don't. And saplings. If you get saplings out of out of trees, then why don't you just get an axe? Again, there's not much of a purpose for fortune. Okay, back to the let's play scenario. Nobody wants to see a person completely talk about what's going on in the game nor does sometimes people want some people don't want to hear off topic sometimes they want to hear what's going on in the game and that's where player C comes in handy where they talk about what's going on in the game and then they talk about other things I want to become player C some people obviously they enjoy player B like Game Grumps, they, they're they great, honestly. I've seen I've seen a few of their videos that I really don't want to actually continue to watch their videos because I really don't want to be influenced by them. In the meaning of, like, I don't want to copy their style type of deal, but hey, it's just they do what they do, and then other people do what they do. Because there's Nintendo Capri Sun, then you have, I think it was PBG I, Gamer? I don't want to mess things up, okay? And then there's, of course, there was Attacking Toucans, and then there's Josh Jepsen, then there's Luca Jen. I really hope I'm not forgetting any names. There's so many people in the Let's Play community. They have their own style, they have their own thing, and I'm going to try to find my own thing. So let's see if I can actually do that. Okay, let me see, 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 let me see. Soak Touch 1. 
Wow. 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 <laughs> Ugh. Wow. No, I'm not gonna accept that. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna accept that. It's just Silk Touch 1. <sighs> so, if, if I could ask you this, I'm probably gonna ask this in another video somewhere in the future, because I have a tendency to actually repeat my questions in so many videos, because if one person doesn't watch this video and they watch another video, then they'll see that question. So there's a greater chance that they're gonna see, or sorry, hear the question. What, are, what is your intake on Let's Plays? Would your, would, do you like when people actually talk about what's going on in the game? Do you like it when people talk about things that are not about the game? Or you like it, you pretty much don't really care and you rather have at least a person talk about what's going on in the game and as well as talk about other things because, like I said, there has to be a balance here somewhere. Some people, like I said, people have their own styles, they have their own thing. And here's, a, here's the most important part to actually think about. It's all about experience. Me in my life, I don't have that much experience compared to other people. Some people have literally traveled from state to state and they have a bunch of stories to tell. I kind of have not much stories to tell as far as I know in my life that could possibly be of interest. The only thing I could possibly talk about is what happened at work or what happened on the streets. And that's it. I don't really have that many life experiences. So I apologize if I can't think of a, a good story to tell. But it's just all about experience in the end. Either a person has a lot of experience or a person that has no experience. Right now, I'm kind of at that level with I kind of have no experience. I may have some good stories to tell, but it, it's all about a perspective. If people actually appreciate the story that I'm trying to tell. Like, jury duty. Some people have been there, right? I'm not the only one. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Well, at least I got a breaking three and efficiency four. This is a good enchantment, which I can live with. Okay, bring you, bringing you back in the game. You've been waiting patiently long enough. <sighs> what was I gonna say? Yes, what was it that you're gonna say? Because, honestly, I'm at the state where my mind is going all over the place. Again, I've been awake for 24 hours. I've done four retakes. I actually had some time to actually think about what I had to say. Because the first take, it was great. Well, technically, I would say it was terrible. It was so terrible that I never wanted to do it again. Like, I don't want to actually be tired and make a video. But in the end, it actually became a little bit better because I experienced it. And I now know for a fact that I should not be doing this. But now I'm still doing it. And it's still better because, again, I got a little bit more experience. And I know what to say and I know what to do. And this is what it is. You see it right here and right now. And, of course, I did, want to, I did say in my resolution video that I want to be better in my videos. So this is one of the things I could actually work on. I had to think what I'm going to say and how I present in saying it. That's what pretty much what makes the video. So this is what I need to do in my Let's Plays. I gotta think of what to say rather than just talking about what's going on in the game. Like I said, I'm, I'm, at, that, I'm at that player A experience right now, which I want to be more like player C. Talk about what's going on in the game and then talk about other things so that you just don't keep talking about what's going on in the game. Uh, um, sword. Yeah. Earlier today, like, just, like, not too long, my brother was playing some PC Minecraft on some server, I don't even know what it is. But then Sunday joined, you know who Sunday is, right? Yeah, I know who Sunday is. Yeah. Um, the, um, he joins the game, and my brother started freaking out, facing Sunday around. Hey, it happens. If you get popular, if you get popular long enough, that people want to actually follow you. I don't know if I were, if I'm able. Bleh. I don't know if I will, if I will ever be able to reach that point. But I'm gonna try. It's just a long road ahead of me. I'm really hoping that my friends could actually help me out on this one. But 
Let's see what happens in the future. Anything could happen. Ah, it's, it's quite getting... I'm getting more and more used to the... The, the actually... Blech. Blech, I can't even talk anymore. I'm, out of, I'm all out of steam, people. Huh. Okay. I'm getting used to looking at the classic texture pack. Because on the first recording, I was complaining so much about it because... It's been a while since I've actually gone on the tech, the, the actual real texture pack that we all started out with. It's funny how that works because on the Minecraft on PC, I didn't care about it at all. But I don't know, probably it's because they had a different layout that I didn't actually pay attention or even notice at the time. But this, it's just, it's weird. I can't believe we actually all looked at this in the beginning of our Minecraft Xbox 360 life. See what I did there? Okay. So, yeah. This is what we're going to do. We're going to actually... Well, thank you, Jub Jub, for the idea. And thank you guys for actually suggesting this. Because I, I see that this could actually work. We're going to actually cycle through all of the texture packs every episode. It's going to look weird when we do the mashup pack. It's going to look weird, especially with... Mass Effect 3. Is anyone even still using Mass, of Mass Effect 3? I remember there was a big hype for it, but is anyone still using it? Whether it be for creative or actual survival? I want to know what this world will look like in that. It's just going to look so, so weird. I think that was before we actually had the Operation Dome. I don't even remember. But this is what it's going to be. We're going to cycle through all of the texture packs so that it'll be something new to look at every episode. Just until we get even more texture packs. Can't wait for that. And another thing, 4J Studios has already announced that they're going to be working on Title Update 14. And it's going to be with Java version. It's going to be the PC equivalent of Java version. 1.3.1 and I still don't understand how they actually come up with these patches or update numbers it's just random the just randomized numbers because I remember like they go with 1.7.2 then they go to another update that's less like a smaller number they have 1.3.2 and then they're just all over the place how do they figure this out I don't even know so, whew. Let's Plays. Back to the Let's Plays. We're still working on Let's Plays. We already have two Let's Plays completed. One of them you're already seeing being uploaded, which is Kirby's Dreamland 3. And another Let's Play that has yet to be uploaded, which once Wind Waker ends, it's going to end, people. It's going to end. It, already, it has ended. This is how it is. It literally ended about... Let me say, uh, let me think, uh, think two months ago. That's how long it's been. That's how, uh, that, it's, it's been, it's been long gone. And the videos are still being uploaded. So once Wind Waker's done, you're going to see the brand new Let's Play that's literally been done for quite a while. It's been, like, an, like I said, two months since we actually played that game. And now you're going to finally see it upload. That's what I love. That's what I love about schedule uploading. That I'm able to upload videos weeks to months in advance. It's just sitting there waiting to be uploaded finally or published publicly for everybody to see. So I could actually upload so many videos and not worry about being late on a deadline. That's why I, this is probably why I have not been making Minecraft videos because I'm already having other videos being uploaded in on the list. So I really got to actually come back to Minecraft videos, just make a lot of videos and have them waited to be uploaded on the list so that you get to see Minecraft videos, you get to see the Let's Play videos and other videos that happen to come across this channel. So a lot of content for you guys. Hopefully it's not too much. I know that some people actually don't like it when a person uploads so, so many videos at a given day. Some people are used to it. Some people don't even care about it. I just need to know. So with the Let's Plays, we're going to continue working on it. And we already have four that are already in the works. Well, already planned. One of them is already in the works. And then the other three are going to be in the works once we're done with the other one that's already in the works. 
that's going to be uploaded, and then we're going to be doing another Let's Play, and hopefully we'll be done with that Let's Play before the previous Let's Play is done uploading. It's a lot of work, people. A lot of videos. But it's a lot of fun. Kyle and I have a great time making these videos. So, we have Yoshi Story, we have Super Mario 64, we have Ocarina of Time, and as well as we have Bomberman we're working on currently. And if there's any other games that you would like us to do a Let's Play on, whether it be on Nintendo, well, Nintendo Wii or Wii U, because we have the Wii Shop channel, and as well as uh, we do have the old Wii, and, oh, wait, we have the Wii U, we, well, we, we don't even need the old Wii right now. Right now. That we'll be able to play Nintendo Wii games on the Wii U. So we could play that. A lot of Nintendo games, other games that are on the Nintendo Wii. Just suggest any of that that we could possibly do. Xbox 360, of course, whether it be on the arcade or actual games that we could possibly do. And whenever I do get my PVR back, because I lended it out. If I get my PVR back, we'll be able to do GameCube games because with the old PVR, we could record on the old Nintendo Wii, which has the compatibility for the GameCube games, so we could play GameCube games on there. If I could actually search for GameCube games online. To eBay and to Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I actually bought a game on there, which is going to be here in about another week or so, and that's going to be what we're going to use for our Let's Play. The only hint is that it's going to be a follow-up of another Let's Play that's coming up soon after Wind Waker ends. That's That was too obvious of a hint. Nobody pay attention to that. Forget what I just said. <sighs> I already ruined it. <laughs> People forget. Hopefully they'll forget. Well, I gotta say, I actually pretty much like this going on right here. Look at all the cows, look at all the pigs right there. They're all just standing, they're just, they're just waiting. They don't know what they're doing with their lives. They don't know that they're gonna be soon served with a purpose of being food for us. Later on, though. Oof, my throat is dry. I need to drink some water. That's the only bad part of actually talking for so long even if people don't want to that's the thing you talk for so long your th your throat either starts to hurt or they st starts to dry up this is what i need to work on i need to actually could i need to continually to talk so that i could get used to this and it won't bother me so much anymore it's almost the same thing as singing you could sing for so much and it hurts and then there's people who could literally sing for hours and they don't feel a thing because they've done it for so long. This is what I need to do. So, in a nutshell, or a wrap up, or what was the other thing I was gonna? What was the thing? I... Recap. There you go. <laughs> Jury duty. Need to sleep. I'm. I've been up for 24 hours. Let's plays. I want to be player C instead of player A and B because they're so dumb. No offense to anyone out there. Don't take it seriously, please. I'm I'm sleep deprived. Apparently, I'm making a great <laughs> great commentary right at the end, which I really need to bring that energy for every single one of my videos, and hopefully, I'll be able to do that. Just no promises, people, because like I said, I'm sleep deprived. I don't remember anything. I rarely ever remember anything I have said or done the next day. <sighs> let me see, let me see, let me see. What else I gonna do? What's gonna, what else did I talk about? I don't think I talked about anything else. Huh. Well, suggest Let's Plays for me to do. And hopefully, I want people to actually take a look at my Let's Plays. Give them a chance. If you don't like that Let's Play, then you don't have to watch any more of the Let's Play. If you do like the Let's Play, then I encourage you to watch more of it. Simple as that. Because I want to be better at it. I want to make a name for myself. And with your guys' help, I'll be able to do so. Even if it's not Minecraft, 
you probably like the game that I'm actually playing because you probably played it at one point or another and brings you the nostalgic feeling of actually taking a look at it once again and probably you'll be able to pick it up from your your dusty Nintendo 64 or you maybe even have a Wii U and you want to download it for yourself and play it once again. That's how it works, people. I'm just happy that Nintendo still allows us to be able to actually go to the Wii Shop channel and actually download all these games I actually play. Even if it costs money, they're making a profit, but hey, it works. We love the game so much that we want to spend more money to actually play it once again on a bigger TV. Don't you remember the old days with a small TV with, <laughs> it's like, look at the, look at your computer monitor. That's how big the TVs were back then. Having a bigger TV was unheard of. You weren't rich enough to get one. And how are you doing? I've been talking the whole it's entire time. Does it need to be four cows, but there's only... Wait, no. One's glitched oh, out. Don't hit it. Down. Don't hit it. It's glitched out. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. But hey, that's... That's all I could think of. Unless Tomi has something to say. Because again, I've been... I've only been the only one talking this whole entire time. I need to do a schedule for my channel. Oh yeah, Tomi has a channel. I forgot what it was though. Turn around. I had a little bit of... Oh yeah, one thing that we did find interesting about the ice, if you actually break it under the... the ceiling? Ice won't form back anymore. Quite interesting. Just like when you block out the weather, apparently you block out the spawning of ice. Well, where'd it go? What? Cow. I don't see no cow. There's a cow right here. I didn't see a cow. There was and then disappeared. You're lying. That's why I was breaking the ice to put the cow in it. Oh. Well, I don't know then. Whew. So, that is it. I really hope you actually enjoy this episode. Because, again, this was the fourth take. And I guess fourth take was the charm. This was, like, almost the best episode that I've ever made of Operation Dome. And probably even a good commentary on its own. If you'd like to critique me on the commentary, feel free to do so. And maybe I need to be more sleep deprived. If anything else, I really need to actually bring this energy in every single one of my videos. That's probably the reason why I'm not getting so many views as I used to have. Or it's because of YouTube and Google. I'm pretty sure it was Google, Google's fault for everything. Because everything was fine before Google actually started taking over with the whole thing. And I did talk about this in another video, which... In a nutshell, Google it's Google's fault for everything that's happening right now, especially with Google Plus and everything else along the matter. It's affected everybody. It has. Even the big YouTubers out there. If you were to actually if you were to actually do the screen cap or maybe if you actually go to the stat tracking websites and you actually take a look at the previous months, you'll see a decrease in comparison to the time before this event happened. If they still kept track of that. I'm going to have to see if I could actually find it. If not, then I'm just... Blowing out smoke. I guess, if that's what they're called. I don't even know. I mess up phrases all the time. So, this is just going to be the end of Operation... Dome. Okay, I was about to say Bedrock again. I'm so I'm still thinking about Operation Bedrock. And I'm very, very excited to show you guys what's been going on in Operation Bedrock this Saturday. And Skull Rider Tomi has been helping me with that. So once that happens, I'll be able to talk to you guys about it. But until then, that's just it's just how it's gonna be. So <sighs> I don't even know. We got one minute left. I'm just making this a 40 minute mark. Do you have anything to say? Pork chop tastes good. Yes, I've had pork chops in real life as well. <sighs> well. Good. That's just an awkward point. I have a good commentary and I don't even know what to say for the final sign off. Oh my god, I'm a failure. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Sleep deprived, 
25 hours on the mark. I really need to get some sleep, people. And then people are just like, I don't even know. I'm not, I can't, I cannot even explain myself. Well, maybe I can. Literally, I make recordings late at night and I talk about real time of what's going on. Simple as that. Just don't worry about it. Just gonna eat this pork chop and I'm gonna end off the video here. So with that being said, I am sort of keen 090. Wait, I don't want you to hit me. I don't want you to hurt you or something or something. Like that. I don't even know. I don't want to hurt you. Okay. I'm sort of keen 090. Have a great day, everyone. And as always, we will see you in the next video.